Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So today I'm very excited to do this video. So tier ranking has been going around YouTube and I haven't done any of them, but I enjoy watching them. So I figured what would be a good what like topic for me to do tier ranking with. And I was like, you know what? I'm a big Taylor Swift fan. So I'm going to go tier rank all her songs, especially because we had Folklore come out. I think it would be fun to do. So she has a lot of albums and a lot of songs and I've definitely have grown up with her music. So I thought this would be something fun to do. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty. So I have my handy dandy laptop here. And so I'm just going to see if I can figure out how to do a screen recording of this I think let me just get it I'm like thinking I think I should be able to figure this out hopefully my laptop does not die while doing this okay I think I got it so this thing was the original um, over link the tier that I used because someone already made this and it has all our songs on I was like Thank goodness for this person because that would have taken uh, forever. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so first up we have the tiers that this person did. So literally life changing, ionic bops, I can jam, filler, and skip. So starting out, we first have Tim McGraw. This was the first song that I heard from Taylor, so literally life-changing because it's just so good. It's also fun to play on guitar. Uh, next up we have Picture to Burn, which I think is an ionic bump. We can all say like it's so sassy and, and like 13 year old Lexi was just like singing this song even though I never had a boyfriend. So I'm going to put that in I Iconic Pops. Um, Teardrops on my guitar is another one of my favorites and I really love the bridge in this song and I really love the music video. I remember we would watch it on like if you had Comcast on demand, we would watch it there. So this one is going to be... Uh, literally life-changing a place in this world I think this is something like I could really relate to when I was younger and just kind of figuring out like um, just trying to figure out like where I belong in the world um, I think it's like a one I can jam now um, it did mean a lot to me when I was younger but now it's just like a good one and I think it, you can relate to it more when you're younger um, cold as you I think is probably one of her one of her like best lyrical songs ever and like I said the bridge in this one is just chef's kiss <laughs> so this one is whoops this one will be life changing so next up we have the outside and I think this one is another one that I can jam to like I said um, when I was younger I really loved that song I really can relate to it because I felt like much of an out um, an outsider so that one's definitely I can jam to it. Tied Together with a Smile I think is another one of her great songs. I think it talks about her friend who's having an eating disorder and doesn't really see herself as pretty. I think this one is also uh, literally life-changing as well. Okay, Stay Beautiful, that's another iconic pop. I feel like this one is really fun to play on the guitar too because you can like slide up and down. Uh, so I'll make that one an ionic bop. Should have said no. We all know this one's gonna be an iconic bop like watch I think it was her like CMA performance in the rain and I was just like that is so cool I also like Mary's song I think that one's a cute one I like the story behind it and how it follows the couple throughout um, their entire you know relationship so that one I think is really cute like literally life-changing our song is definitely I like it's not my favorite of her songs actually like it's definitely one that I can like jam to but yeah I, it's like I can jam basically it's not my favorite I'm only mean with I'm with you I love that one really good ionic bop I really love invisible I think it, that one's like a really good one just perspective of like you're the person that really can like know and understand that person but you don't really acknowledge them so literally life-changing and a perfectly good heart I don't think is one of my favorite songs of her I think this is definitely one where I can skip because it's very repetitive um, so I think it's literally just a filler or a skip it's kind of in between oh now we're getting to the fearless era oh man so fearless obviously life-changing this is probably I remember being in grade 10 when this album came out and yeah we, I would come home from school and me and my brother and sister would put this on on the stereo and we would play <laughs> GameCube so that's what I think of when I think of this album so fearless literally life-changing 15 I think is another one of her iconic bops um, 
I think it's a good story. I think when you're 15, you can relate to it a lot. Um, Love Story obviously is life changing, and I think that was that song was literally life changing for Taylor as well. Um, so I've added that there. Hey Steven is another one like I can jam. I really like this song. I like have the humming throughout it, and it's just like a fun, catchy song. So I can jam. And I'm not putting these in like ranking them within the right little sections because I don't have less time for that. Next up we have White Horse. This is probably one of my favorite track fives of hers. Um, literally life changing. I love playing this one on guitar. It's I think it's just a really good song. So You Belong With Me, obviously an iconic bop. So 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 good. Next up Breathe. I love this song. This is life changing. I just think I can really relate to it even though it talks about relationship. I think I kind of see it as someone who's passed away. Um, that's how I kind of see it as. Tell Me Why is another good fun one. I would say that I can like jam to this song. Uh, You're Not Sorry is another good jam song. Um, I'll just put that there. I'm trying to go fast because there's so many songs in this video. It's going to be crazy fast. The Way I Love You is I feel it's like a filler song. It's not my favorite on the Fearless album. Forever and Always is very, very sassy. And I think it is an ionic bop, you know. We all know the story behind that. The Best Day for me is really um, a good, like, life-changing song because that was the first song I learned how to play on guitar and I also have a really good relationship with my mom, so that one is good. Change, I think, is another filler song. Um, I know it was, like, for the soundtrack for the Olympics, but, you know, I think it's just a filler song. Jump Them Fall, I think it's really, really cute. Um, this one would be like, I Can Jam too. It's just a cute song. Um, Untouchable, I think is another one that I can jam to. Even though it's quiet, I like just like the really chill vibe. Um, Come In With The Rain, um, eh, put it life changing because I do really like that one. And that was one like I found on YouTube that was like unreleased at the time. And I was like obsessed with it. The other side of the door I think is pretty kind of filler. You know, it's a good one. I like how she integrates some of her song titles into like the bridge. And then Superstar, I can jam to that one because I love the little guitar lick throughout. So next we're going into the Speak Now era, which I think is like next, like out of all her albums, I think this is like in the lower half. Like this one's not my favorite, but I still really enjoy it. Like, there's no bad Taylor Swift songs. Mine, I think, is an ionic. I keep on saying ionic. I just have biology on the mind. Um, I iconic bops. I was obsessed with the music video. Sparks Fly, I think, is a really good song. Compa like, it's just, I don't know. There's something about the melody. Back to December, I think it's like, I can jam to it. Um, you know, not my favorite of the album. Speak Now, I can jam to it. It's a good one. Dear John, I think is an um, iconic bop, especially if you look at like the Speak Now like um, concert video. Mean, I think is definitely, definitely life-changing. That song was the soundtrack to my high school life. <laughs> the Story of Us, I think is like a filler. Like, I, it's not my favorite. Um, I think it's just like, it doesn't really hold a lot of substance. Uh, Never Grow Up is definitely life changing. I think that's a beautiful song that kind of articulates kind of growing up and just the feeling of, you know, becoming an adult. Enchanted is one I can jam to. It's, you know, I like the, how it starts off slow and then eventually gradually builds up. Better Than Revenge, I think this is a song that did not age well and Taylor has kind of mentioned that as well. She was like, I was very kind of sassy when she was 18. So this is like a skip. I don't think it's her best song and for obvious reasons. Innocent, I think given the whole thing that's going on, like I think it's a good song. It was just, I don't think he is innocent. So this one is like I can jam to. I really like the meaning of the song, even though it's about Kanye West who I don't really like. Filler, uh, Haunted would have to be a filler because it's not one of my favorite songs. I It's like, I like the sound of it, but it's just not one of my favorites. Last Kiss is definitely a life-changing song. I really like that one. Uh, Long Live is also a life-changing song as well. I think, like, 
just like having I think you can like relate it to a lot of things in your life um, Superman I'm just kind of going around in order Superman uh, it's like a filler song like I don't think it has like it's not like you know white horse or anything if this was a movie I can jam to that because that's like if things were like movies there's something she talks about in her lyrics a lot and ours is definitely life-changing because you know so good oh now we're getting to red some of my favorite eras you know state of grace is something I can jam to like I have to be in the mood for that and I like how it's kind of almost like a rock like intro which is good red is a iconic bop all right so my battery almost died so i quickly plugged it in um but as i was saying red is an iconic iconic bop as i was saying so treacherous i think is a really good song too um oh man let me see i think that this one is i don't even like it's not like a boppy song but i don't know like I'm gonna put it I think in I think it's more of like along the lines of life changing because I think it's more like it's like a, I feel like it's very kind of preludes to um kind of her folklore kind of sound I knew you were trouble is definitely an iconic bop you know screaming goats and all um next all too well obviously that is a life changing song like come on one of probably her best songs ever 22 is an iconic bop as well. I remember I listened to that when I turned 22. My brother's turning 22 soon, so we're gonna have to listen to that, so that's good. I Almost Do, I think, is another one that I can, like, jam to. I think, like, I think that's something we can relate to. We Are Never Ever Ever Getting Back Together. I think that's a I Can Jam song. Like, I don't think it's my favorite of her songs on the Red album, but, um, yeah, I think Stay, Stay, Stay is more of an iconic bop. I love the mandolin and, like, ukulele in here. It's just a fun song, and just, like, the story that progresses through each of the verses is good. The last time is good, but I think it's, like, a filler. Like, it's a pre-exile, basically, and it's, like, uh, not my favorite. Um, Holy Ground is a good one you can, like, jam to. I like her slowed-down version that she did of this. Sad, Beautiful, Tragic, tragic I will have to say, is a song that I skip. I don't really like it that much. Um, I don't know if that makes me just a bad fan, but, yeah. Not my favorite. The Lucky One is a good one to jam to, in addition to Everything Has Changed, I don't know. That's a good one, too. I think Starlight will have to be... That's, like, me and my sister's, like, song. Like, that's our song together. So, literally life-changing because it's me and my sister's song. Um, let's see. Begin Again. That one, I think, is life-changing as well. So, so good. I like how it ends with that one. Girl at Home is definitely an iconic, uh, bop. Um, that one's just, you know, a fun one. Come Back Be Here is something that is near and dear to my heart because she played it for the first time live when we saw her in concert for the Reputation Tour in Toronto. Um, so, life-changing, obviously. And the moment I knew is a iconic bop because even though it's a sad song, like, I like the story in it. Welcome to New York. Now we're going into the 1989 era. Um, this one, I would have to say, Welcome to New York, iconic bop. I mean, come on. We, like, don't you think about it? I know we were, when we were going to Boston, we stopped in New York for a few days, and that was the song that was in my head when we were driving to New York. Um, Blank Space, obviously, is life-changing. Need I say more? Uh, style, also life-changing. There's so many, like, just songs in here that are just, like, so good. Out of the Woods. I like it. It's a little repetitive, but I think it's still like an iconic bop, and I like the bridge in that song. All you had to do was stay another good iconic bop. I feel like 1989 is just like an iconic bop album. Shake It Off, iconic bop. I Wish You Would, iconic bop. Bad Blood, um, I think that one would also be an iconic bop too. Like, this entire album, like, basically, like, it's very good. Wildest Dreams, obviously an iconic bop. How You Get the Girl. I think, like, This Love, I think, is, like, a filler song. It feels very different than the rest of the album. So it's kind of going there. It's not my favorite. 
I know places is an I like I can jam to it song like you know again I like the bridge Taylor Swift's and her bridge clean is definitely a life-changing song I think it you know can mean a lot of things to different people and so it's near and dear to my heart Wonderland is I know it's like a cult favorite but for me like I just can't you know really get into this one for whatever reason so it's like a filler song actually for the most part I actually like skip it a lot of the times it comes on you are in love I like this one this is an iconic bop song and new romantics iconic bop we all know this is 1989 like look at it oh man Alrighty, now we're going on to the Reputation era. Ready For It is an I Can Jam song, definitely, like this. Endgame 2 is another, I feel like that's an iconic bop. Just, you know, do 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 do. I Did Something Bad, I think it's life changing. I think that song is really good. And it has a good message in it for, computer's not too going up, there we go. And it is, Definitely has a good message, I think, for just, you know, men, you know, taking, you know, I'm not going to say it, but we all know what you're saying. Don't blame me. Life changing. I love like how it sounds religious and I'm not really religious myself, but I like how it has that tone to it. Uh, Delicate is definitely an iconic bop. I think it's so cute. I love the music video. Look what you made me do. I know this is controversial, but I really can relate to this song. I feel like this was the theme song of 2018, 2019 for me. So that is an iconic bop. So it goes like iconic bop too. Like I like the risque lyrics. I, you know, just like the, I like like how it's like a grungy sounding album. Gorgeous. You know, I can jam like my brother loves a little ding part in there. You know, that's a good song too. Getaway car, iconic. Um, but I will say it's life-changing, like Getaway Car, it's a, definitely a fan favorite and one of mine's too. King of My Heart, I think, is an iconic bop. Um, Dancing With Their Hands Tides, like, I can jam to it, I like it. Same thing for Dress, too, like, I think you have to be in a mood to listen to Dress, but I also like that song as well. This is why we cannot have nice things, nice, <laughs> nice things, nice things is definitely life-changing. It's very sassy. I love it. Next we have Call It What You Want, which I think is also like, it's probably one of my favorite songs on the album, Life Changing, and New Year's Day, which this song is near and dear to my heart as well. Me and my brother did a piano and guitar duet um, for my grandma before she passed away. So I just think about that and just some of the lyrics like make me think of her. So life changing. Now we're going into the lover era, which I'm still like, I still feel like I'm still stuck in the lover era, even though we're kind of, you know, been catapulted into, you know, folklore, which I don't mind. I Forgot That You Existed, again, feels like a follow-up, like, you know, that's a jam song, definitely. Cruel Summer, I was really wanting, a, I was supposed to see her in concert too, but COVID, COVID happened. Definitely life-changing, definitely one of my favorites. Lover, life-changing, the man, obviously. Like, I think as someone who is in engineering, that's like, my phone is like possessed. I don't know what it's thinking. It'll just randomly start talking, sorry. <laughs> so the man, like, as someone who's in engineering, like, I really appreciate that. And that's definitely an iconic bop. Um, the Archer, I really relate to that song, definitely life-changing I think like I think he knows is probably one of my like within like the lower ranks of my album but it's definitely one that I can like jam to definitely Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince I love the political allegory of this um, so that's definitely gonna be literally life-changing I think she I'm glad she's found her political voice paper rings you know I can jam to it yeah I think like it's a good like pump up song Cornelia Street, oh, that's one of my favorites on there. Definitely life changing. Like, that's how I like. I like. Oh, the lyrics, the imagery, just the whole thing, and I love her acoustic breakdown of the song. Same thing for Death by a Thousand Cuts. So good, so good. London Boy, it's definitely one that I can jam to. Soon you'll get better. Is 
so like I said, something I can relate to. My, my grandma went through cancer and just kind of that feeling. So definitely life changing there. False God, like that was a song that really grew on me. I didn't really like it the initial time, but it's definitely grown on me and it's like good song to listen to if you know you're driving in the city and it's raining and dark outside, like that's the atmosphere. So definitely an iconic bop. You need to calm down. Iconic bop, easy, easy peasy. Afterglow, you know, I can jam to it. Like it's not my favorite of the album, me. I know like Taylor, like when you watch like the Miss Americana documentary, like how happy she was writing it, but I usually just skip it. It's not my favorite. It's nice to have a friend. Like I definitely think this was like a prelude into the folklore sound. So definitely an iconic bop. I love the melody in it. Oh, and Daylight, 100% life changing. I <sighs> just, she's just so amazing. So I think these ones now are just kind of like the random ones. So Babe, which was a song she did, she wrote and that she did with Sugarland. I think it's literally an iconic bop. Gets you stuck, it gets stuck in your head, that's for sure. Beautiful Eyes, like you, I can jam to it. I remember early Lexi in like the 2010s, really obsessed with this. Beautiful Ghost, I think it's haunting, but I think, uh, not my favorite, like it's a, like the, Kind of the sound of it and the lyrics are interesting but it's not my favorite both of us i don't really like rapping so even though taylor swift's singing like minimally in it i don't really i don't even own that song crazier i was obsessed with this song this was the second song i learned how to play in guitar i was obsessed with it definitely i can jam to it now eyes open to was like another one i'd listen to it when i go to school in grade 12 because i needed to pump up because you know grade 12. Basically, yes, I think it's an iconic bop and I think it deserves more love. Half of my heart, I really enjoy too, even though like what happened with John Mayer, but that was like a long time ago, but I love this one. I can definitely uh, jam to this one, obviously. Next up is Highway Don't Care. Eh, like I like it, but it's not my favorite and Taylor's just singing the same thing over and over again same with like I don't want to live forever like I like that song but then again I don't know I could like jam to it but it's not like my favorite um I'd heart definitely I heart question mark is definitely another one I can like jam to like oh yeah oh and I'd lie like I think that's an iconic bop like that's another song I remember learning and play when I was first playing guitar that one I like and I still will play it only the Young, I think, is an iconic bop because just, like, I feel like it's very reminiscent of the times and everything that's going on. I'm trying to go fast because this video is going to be so long. Ronan, again, I think is a life-changing song. It's really sad and heartbreaking, but, you know, it's a very, very, you know, delicate song, I think. Safe and Sound is another one that I can like jam to. I have to be in the mood for it, but I feel like, again, this is like preludes to folklore. Sweeter Than Fiction, I love that song. Life changing. I literally put it in like every home video that we, like I make like little vlog videos just for home videos and I put that in there. Uh, Today Was a Fairy Tale, like I loved it when it came out, but I think it's just like, I feel like I've kind of grown out of that fairy tale love phase, but I can definitely like jam to it. And then two is better than one. Oh, yes, definitely one I can jam to. Like, I remember in Chicago listening to that all the time. So, okay. Now we're moving on to folklore. Oh, man, this album is just so, so good. So the one, definitely an iconic bop. I feel like just, I feel like it's a good entry into this album. Cardigan, life-changing. I love it. I like watched the music video like 30 times. I was like looking for little details. The Last Great American Dynasty, I like the story into it and how it ties into her and then how she changes the pre-chorus where the first two are about the original owner and then how she's, it kind of like ties in. I like that parallel imagery in there. So definitely, definitely an iconic bop. I love the storytelling of that song. Exile, like I like it, but like everyone seems to like love it so much, but like it's one I can like jam to, but like it's, 
I think like the Bon Iver's voice, like there's, it's so like gravelly, like it just kind of makes, it feels like chalk on like a, like nails on a chalkboard is kind of how his voice sounds like. My Tears Ricochet, like is another one I think is life changing and like, I don't know, like even though like it's obviously about her fallout with Big Machine Records, like I think I can relate it to some of the things, especially what happened with my residency. Mirrorball, like it's one I can jam to, not like it's, not like in my top five of the album but again i like the bridge in here illicit affairs definitely is a good one i can jam to that one like i think it's a very interesting take on cheating um next invisible spring spring string oh this is probably one of my favorites definitely life-changing like i like to think of like something like that let's see mad woman I feel like this one doesn't really fit in with the rest of the album. Like, I feel like the tone of it is very different and it's very kind of reminiscent of the Reputation era. But yet, nevertheless, I still really enjoy it. So, like, you know, like I can jam out to it. And it's very interesting getting an FU from <laughs> Taylor Swift. Epiphany, I think, is very interesting. It's again, with the storytelling in here, I like how she is doing parallels between um, her grandfather being in World War II to the healthcare professionals dealing with COVID and just kind of holding hands through plastic. I think the imagery in here is really beautiful. Um, I think that like in terms of like the times, I think that is a very um, kind of life-changing. Um, Betty, Oh, I feel like that's an iconic bop and I'm happy to get kind of some of the like old country storytelling that T Taylor Swift is kind of famous for. Peace is definitely one of my like favorites on there. I think just the anxiety of being in a relationship, I think really good. Uh, definitely, ugh, I'm going to put it in life changing because I think just that like anxiety and fear that she has about losing something. Again with Hoax too, like it took me a couple listens to kind of like kind of grasp the sport story in there and i think that one is iconic too and just the storytelling in it the lakes i do like the lakes the lakes is good um it hasn't i've only been listening to it for about a week um since i got the uh cd in the mail so you know it's like i can like you know i can jam to it like it like it hasn't grown on me as much as the other one seven i like that one i think you know that's an iconic bop i like this just like the indie feel of it, I think is really, really good. August, August is probably one of my favorites on there. I love, and the bridge and outro in this song are just so good. So Taylor, Taylor Swift is so good. This Is Me Trying is probably like, I feel like it's one of my least favorite. I do like the analogy of like, I was so ahead of the curve, the curve became a spear. Like I like some of the imagery in here, but this one I feel is just like a filler song, so yeah i'm looking this over like you can see like she's there <laughs> let's see i'm trying to like do color wise but like i feel like it's a good mix of both for which ones are kind of within like you know each section like i feel like it's like a good balance between the ones and then like there's only like one song on each album that i like skip um but yeah i think that's really interesting but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like this video was just me saying, I love Taylor Swift, but you know, like I have some, I'm nitpicky about some of the things, but in general, I like, I like everything she puts out. But yeah, I'm gonna, oh, you can like save this too. I'm gonna save this. Um, but if you guys do this, let me know. I'd love to go see you, um, see you do this i think it'll be fun to see and see like how everyone's songs are different let me know what is your favorite taylor swift album right now right now i think it's folklore and i've honestly been listening to it for like three weeks in a row like every single day like that is how much i love it right now um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do plan on doing more um kind of tier ranking in the future so if you have any suggestions or if there's any more like taylor swift tier ranking that you would like me to do um yeah, let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.